Hey everybody, this is Thomas Wells, The Body Mechanic, and today I'm going to do a little video on the lymphatic system, particularly how to do lymphatic drainage for yourself around the head, neck, and face area. This is particularly useful if you have, um, you know, cold, congestion, sinus issues, allergies, etc., or any other sort of pressure, sinus pressure around the face. Okay, so highly useful. So first, just a little bit about the lymphatic system. Uh, it's something a lot of people don't know much about. Uh, it tends to get glossed over in school and anatomy courses. So basically, it's part of the circulatory system. It's part of how our body returns, uh, returns filtrates of the blood back into circulation. Uh, blood basically has one way out and two ways back to the heart. So it goes out through the through the arteries and it goes back in, not only through the veins, but it goes back through the lymphatic system as well. So you have an elaborate series of channels and pathways back to the central circulation via the lymphatic system. So sometimes uh, the lymph can get backed up or obstructed or blocked. You can get areas that become boggy and uh, it's really important to get that fluid moving again. And uh, the lymphatic drainage technique is one very effective way of doing that. Uh, so doing this work can not only help with symptoms of, you know, the cold, colds, uh, sinus, etc., but it can also help with the immune system overall. So you can actually hasten an illness to get over an illness sooner or prevent an illness from happening in the first place. So if you feel a cold coming on, you can do this lymphatic drainage technique and potentially stave that off. So highly useful. So first I just want to go over a little bit of the flow patterns. So you have two, two basic sets of flow patterns in the body, the, the pathways that the lymph takes. And that's the deep flow and the superficial flow. And we're going to be focusing on the superficial flow, which is about 75% of the lymph flow in your body, a little bit more so in the limbs. But overall about 75% 70, of the lymph flow in your body is superficial flow. Okay, and you have a few different uh, flow patterns in the face, and we're going to be focusing on two main areas uh, where we're going to try to move the fluid towards in the face. And that's right here, just off, just to the side of the central joint of the clavicles there. We call that the venous angle. Then there's another point just below the ear on either side that we, we call the water wheel, or sometimes they call it the waterfall. And those are key areas that the fluid is trying to move towards in order to get back into deep circulation. Okay, um, all the fluid eventually ends up right here, deep, deep to this area where it goes back into the heart. So I want you to imagine a cone starting at the top of your nose and running down at an angle to the angle of your jaw right there. So everything inside that cone is going to drain downward towards the venous angle right there. Everything outside that cone uh, on the top of the head and the sides of the face is going to drain to the water wheel. Then everything outside that cone below the point of the water wheel will drain back here as well. Okay, so just visualize that cone. So all the movements we're going to make are going to be moving towards one of those two points. And we're going to start close in near the drainage point, working our way out. And then after we've done that initial drainage, then we're going to do, we're going to do the rinse where we work back in towards one of those drainage points. And you'll understand what I mean when we go. So you're going to do, you're going to do two, two goes at each area we do drainage on. Each spot we do, we'll probably do anywhere from three, three or four passes on it. And each one's going to take about three to five seconds to do. So without further ado, let's start here. So we're going to start right by that venous angle. So you're going to be maybe an inch or two above, above the uh, clavicles here. You just light pressure just enough to kind of hook into the skin. You're just going to slowly stretch the skin downward towards the venous angle. Not so much tension that your fingers start sliding on the skin, but you can feel it actually just moving the skin. Okay, so about a three to five second pass. Then you just let up. 
So you don't want to return back with it. You're just going to go to the bottom and release. And you're just going to do that three to five times for a few seconds each. Okay, and now we're going to move a little bit more lateral just above the clavicles here. Press in lightly just enough to hook the skin. I'm kind of using two fingertips here. And we're going to tension medially towards the venous angles. Press in, tension towards the middle. Again, a few seconds duration. Do th three, four, five passes at each spot. Now we're going to work further away from that point, still just above the clavicle, but still moving medially. Tension in just like that. Okay, so you can do at least two points along the clavicles. You can do, you can break it up into smaller ones if you want. It's not a big deal. Now we're going to move a little closer to the center. So you're just off center of the trachea there, a little higher up. And here we're just going to tension straight down. A few passes there, work up a little higher, a little bit below the, below the chin there. And again, tensioning straight down. Okay, so now we're going to work some points that drain into the water wheel. So that we're going to start at the water wheel. So again, you're going to place your fingertips. I like to use index finger. And you're going to find the spot right below your earlobe. So you're going to have three points of contact at the tip of your finger. You're going to have the back of your jaw on the forward edge of your finger. You're going to have your mastoid process, which is the kind of bony part behind your ear, on the back of your finger. And at the tip of your finger, you'll have the cartilage on the underside of your ear. So you want to start in those spots right there, right pressure, and you're just going to tension downward. So down towards the feet. You're not going to move very far on this one. Again, several passes. Now we're going to work our way out along the jaw. So just under the jaw, you've got a bunch of submandibular nodes right there. Okay, just a couple fingers or one finger, whatever's comfortable for you. You're just going to tension in and you're going to move your finger back towards that water wheel. Like so. Then we're going to work our way down further along the jaw. Again, three to five seconds per pass. Do a handful of passes each spot. Now, once we've done that, that, that's all the key areas I want you to get here. You can add more. You can add as many different spots as you want. Just know everything up in this area is going to drain back towards the water wheel. Everything in this area is draining down towards the venous angle there. But now that we've gotten those key points, we're going to reverse the process and work our way backwards. This is the so-called rinse. Okay, so back in there, still tensioning towards the, towards the water wheel. Several seconds each. You don't have to do multiple passes on the rinse. One pass is usually good enough, but on the initial drainage, it's good to do several passes. Okay, and once again, drain the water wheel. Now we're gonna work back under the chin with an inferior pressure, back down. I'm speeding these up again. These would normally be three to five seconds each. Then work to the outside of the clavicles, tension inward towards the venous angle, and again. And it's very important that as you tension the skin, you don't return it back to the start position. You actually let go because otherwise that can affect, that can affect the, the wave-like motion of the lymphatic fluid under the skin. So you don't want to impede that wave. You're actually trying to encourage that wave of motion. You can do this as often as you like. There's no, there's no downside to doing this, uh, particularly in this area of the body. There's no downside to doing this. Uh, if you have, you know, lymphedema or uh, congestive heart failure or anything like that, avoid this until you've gotten cleared by your doctor. Uh, but for, for, for average healthy folks, there's nothing wrong with doing this. Uh, you can do it as often as you like. Uh, it can help with headaches even. It can help with jaw pain, particularly if you add some passes up on the side of the face and around the temples, get that fluid moving. It tends to have a strong autonomic effect, so it can it can kind of calm people down. It can be very soothing, lower the heart rate, lower the blood pressure. Uh, it, can, it can make people less sensitive to pain. Uh, it can do a lot of things for you. It's very powerful stuff. And uh, some very smart people think that that's kind of the, the big frontier of medicine is working on the lymphatic system. So give it a try. See what you think.